Well, as we see COVID numbers rising again, it's left some people asking, what will it take to get numbers down? We are joined this morning by Dr. Abba. Dr. Abba, thank you so much for being mm -hmm. with us again today. We do appreciate your insight. Um, I so appreciate you both. Thank yeah. you. Well, obviously, Omicron, the big talker right now and the mm -hmm. rise in cases in general. What do you think we need to do? What's going on right now? Um, I'm taking a pause just to try and collect myself. Uh, it begins with accepting that this is our current state. Nobody invited the pandemic. It is a global affliction, not merely a... So for those of you who are sick and tired of COVID, COVID news, COVID afflictions, I ask you to ask this, who in this entire world doesn't feel exactly as you are feeling right now? I will promise you this, we in healthcare want to keep you safe. So when I get a patient by phone who is overcoming COVID, having nearly barely escaped the hospital, the first thing I do is go back to my notes and ask, did I have the vaccine conversation? Invariably, I have. And those same patients will say to me, I now believe, having narrowly escaped leaving, you know, uh, getting uh, really, really sick by this virus. I'm asking all of you, I know the holidays are upon us and we want you to enjoy them, but you must be safe. Ask your invited guests if they are vaccinated, encourage them to get an over-the-counter test and to please stay home if they are at all concerned about being unwell. If you have elders gathering in your home, please protect them. I ask that you ask the right questions uh, of us in healthcare. And if you haven't been boosted yet, kindly go get your booster two months after the J&J &J and six months after the mRNA uh, vaccines, be that Pfizer or Moderna, and take whatever your pharmacy has. At this point, we are so very lucky in this country to have three vaccines available to us, something that much of the globe cannot speak to. So my answer is this, yes, Omicron is here. Yes, it will overtake Delta. Yes, it is highly infectious. And finally, our hospital systems are overrun. So do the right things, enjoy your holidays in smaller fashions with the understanding that this pandemic is an uninvited guest and we must fight it out. Dr. Alba, if you're considering maybe the vaccine this week, you know, it's December 20th, so you could be seeing your family in four or five days. Maybe you get your first dose or maybe even your booster. Are you going to be protected in that time frame? So uh, as you well know, Tessa, you won't be, not fully anyhow. And so what can you do to still salvage these relationships and these gatherings? Um, you know, I'm going to put a personal uh, anecdote in there. Uh, when my dad died, the holidays no longer had the same value. I think we sometimes have to mutate our own understanding of what the holidays can be in times of duress. And this is one of those times where we are trying to protect each other. And so if you know you are not vaccinated and you've been invited to someone's home and they may have an elder present, might you ask yourself maybe next year? So if you are not at all vaccinated and you are preparing for the holidays, uh, I would invite you to uh, get tested, stay home if you have symptoms, start the vaccine process by all means, please. And, um, you know, I don't know what else to tell you except that the holidays may have to take on new meaning given that Omicron is here, our hospital systems are quite overflowed and we all want to do what's right even during the holiday season. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that. And Dr. I hate Robert. to leave it on a grim note. So on a higher note, um, please be so very grateful that you're still alive and well. Not everyone can say that. We've lost 800,000 Americans and 5 million worldwide. So hold your loved ones close, talk to them by phone and be so very grateful for all that we do have.